Hi guys and thanks for popping by my YouTube channel and today we're going to talk about another story behind the picture and we're going to talk about this fabulous photograph of Yvette Nelson with some black angel wings. Stay tuned. Well let me tell you how I came about this fabulous photograph with Yvette Nelson. She gives me a quick call and we talk about uh, going on location and shooting some pictures and on the way there it just so happened that I was looking out the window, like you do when you're driving, and uh, I see these black burnt trees. And I think to myself, ha, huh, those black trees kind of look interesting, all burnt like that. And um, I'm also thinking that if we don't stop and take advantage of this view that I'm seeing there, that if I come back at a later date, it's possible that they're going to be grown over and we're not going to get uh, the same kind of effect that I'm seeing right this very second. So I say to Yvette, you know, hey, we should pull over and use those trees as a background. And she agrees. So we pull over and we look through her stuff and we find this fantastic uh, bit of lingerie that she has. The brown panties looks great. And it just so happens I have these black angel wings with me that I had used on a Halloween shoot with another client. And they worked perfectly, as you can see here, um, with Yvette's uh, lingerie that she had brought with her. So we go down to where the trees were and uh, we get out and um, she gets into the lingerie and puts on the wings and then gradually walks up the little incline, as you can see right here, and um, stands there amongst the, the burnt trees. Now, the light is coming from behind her and she's in the shade. So I, I think to myself, well, if I, if I open up my f-stop and get more of an exposure I'm going to blow out the background so I don't want to do that I want to keep the tree solid not have too much of a, a blowout with the sky but uh, I like the way the sky is coming through the trees it kind of gives me a, a nice look there so what I decided to do was put on a very small portable strobe now I'm sure you guys have uh, little tiny strobes and um, I just this battery operated and I just put it on the camera and just uh, set it out so it would be just enough to give me a fill and as you can see in this photograph here it uh, feels quite well and um, that stopped her from being in the shade and also stopped me from as I said to you before opening up and getting too much brightness coming from behind her uh, so it acts like I said as my fill light my main light and the rest of the sunlight that is coming in through the trees and hitting her from behind is just an accent light if you like so that's how I got that kind of look the other thing I did was I used a zoom lens and the reason I did that is because I didn't want to walk on the ground I wanted to keep the ground as pristine as possible and just have Yvette walk up to the spot where she was and um, and I didn't want to have my footprints uh, you know in in the ground so if I had used a um, a lens that wasn't a zoom I would have have to have moved in myself towards her to get the close-up shots that I wanted or further away but with the zoom I could zoom in and out and stay exactly where I was and not disturb the ground and as you can tell here uh, this looks pretty hot and we're zoomed out here and again we're zoomed back in again so that's that's how I got that fabulous photograph of Yvette Nelson with the black angel wings and we had time enough to be able to pull that shot off and then go off to a location and do our other shots Anyway, if you like that story, you might like to check out my blog on my website, andrefelixphoto.com. Uh, you can also download a PDF of a book that I've got called Tips and Tricks. There you can find some diagrams and some more information on how to do some of the shots which might uh, inspire you to go out and do a shot yourself. Uh, you can either take a shot out of my book and just copy it or you can come up with something for your own. So you guys could follow me on Instagram if you like. That's Andre Felix Photo. And as I said before, you could pop over to my website, andrefelixphoto.com, and uh, check out my blog with all my interesting stuff I talk about. And all I can say is thanks a lot, and bye for now. Mm -hmm.